guys, what's up? How's everybody today? Happy Tuesday. I was having a crazy hair day this morning, so, but I think we're halfway together here. And, okay, so I always get, feel so weird getting up here without my eye makeup on, but I'm gonna do a little eye look for you guys today. So, you're just gonna have to bear with me till I get to that point, okay? How's everybody today? So, we made it to Tuesday. Did you guys shop with us last night? We had some cute stuff on our show last night, so you can catch it on replay on our app would be the best place to grab that. Uh, all right, so I haven't even got to drink my coffee yet today, you guys. I have just been... Um, We've just been having at it. I've been calling vendors to see where our stuff's at. And we have photos here later this afternoon. We were hoping it would warm up a little bit. So I am in uh, Nebraska. If you guys are finding us on TikTok, we're in the center of, um, I'm sorry, I'm reading an email. Uh, center of the US in Nebraska, some little town. We're like 55,000 people. So for those of you uh, in TikTok world, all across the world, yes, that is where we are located at, I guess. So my name is Amanda. I am the boss lady here. And uh, yeah, so today I have some fun stuff for you guys. So we have got, been getting in <clears throat> gift stuff like galore because obviously it's the holiday season. So everybody's ready to shop. Uh, and you guys, honestly, like I've always said, one of these days I'm going to get it together and Christmas, I'm going to have it done before December so I can actually enjoy instead of everything being a rushed um, just craziness, right? So I recommend that to all of you, all right? I don't know when I'll get my shopping done. Working retail kind of makes you think differently about the holidays, I feel like. Uh, it kind of ruins it for you, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, for the rest of you who still enjoy Christmas, you guys should definitely grab some of these good little gift items, all right? Uh, because they're just easy, and then you can stick it in the closet, hide it for the children, and be done with it, okay? So that's my suggestion to all of you. All right, so uh, anyway though, let me, uh, so yeah, I do have just a few little outfits I was gonna fly through just to show you a couple cute little things JC put together for me to show you guys. We'll do the gifts and then at the end, I'll go ahead and do my makeup, all right? So I have a little fast eye look, just something kind of simple and then lips to show you how I do my liner and then our grande gloss with it, okay? So that's what's going down today. So hang out with me for just a minute. You guys, if you're on TikTok, let me know uh, where you guys are tuning in from. Uh, so if you're going to shop with us today, all you need to do, the best place is download our app. It's free in your app store, both Android and Apple, A-List Boutique, like you're on the A-List, like your VIP, all right? So it's a black and white little icon. So just download that bad boy and then you can start adding stuff to your cart. Please just add stuff you plan on checking out with. Uh, there's a favorite button at the bottom that's a star. So if you'd like something and want to come back to it, just hit that button. Uh, let's see, cards stay loaded for an hour and a half, so it won't be there tomorrow, so just know that. Uh, again, that's the time to favorite something if you can't check out today. We offer Sizzle, for those of you catching us on TikTok, uh, if that is, that kind of helps divide up your payments, so that might help with some Christmas shopping as well. All right, what else? Um, otherwise, you can totally catch us on Facebook also, uh, a Dashless Boutique in the App Store, and that, you just need to comment sold, the number up top of our, my head, and the size that you want dropped into your cart. Okay, so that's how that works. If you are new, just comment register and our little robots should auto respond to you and get you all hooked up, okay? All right, so you guys talk to me, let me know what you are all up to. Hi, Dorothy, how are you this morning or lunchtime? Oh, uh, you guys, so last week we were in LA shopping uh, and got all of our Christmas stuff handled and on its way to, for you guys. Uh, oh, Betty Smith, I don't even wanna hear about it, girlfriend. She's already done shopping, except stocking stuffers. Girl, you're the smart one in the bunch. I'm jealous. I'm gonna give you my list. That's what happens when you get done early. You get somebody else's list, you get mine. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know what my list is. I should start there, right? Mm -hmm. That would help. Uh, whoa, I put a lot of coffee in that this morning. Okay, so, well yay, Betty, I'm very jealous. Do you have your trees up already? Because uh, I told my daughter that she gets to do that with her boyfriend. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Today's her birthday. I have a 15 year old today. I have no idea how that's possible, but I guess that is the math. That is correct. So um, so we're gonna go to good old Fuji tonight, which is a hibachi grill here in town. It's expensive, so my kids only, we only go there for special occasions like birthdays. So they think we're going there tonight. So I suppose we'll do that. Uh, for, treat her a little bit, my little Atlee Grace. Uh, okay. Oh, so let's talk about, last night we kind of talked about um, some good TV shows. So if you guys have been on Netflix lately, has anybody watched anything good? 
So you guys definitely need to check out The Watcher. It's very, very good. And it's kind of suspenseful. Somebody on the radio was talking about this morning and they said it was boring, but I thought it, I mean, they could have condensed it a little bit, but I thought it was actually pretty darn good. Uh, but if you need a good movie to watch, uh, Can You Keep a Secret is really, really good. It's super funny. It's just kind of a good little chill, just want to hang out type movie. Uh, but my husband will turn that on. We'll turn that on if we just need a good laugh and just to kind of chill for a little bit. So those are good suggestions. But if anybody else has any good ones, now that the weather's getting kind of cold and uh, kind of snuggle up in your evenings, uh, share some good little TV or movies with us. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Well, what else? Keep talking to me, kids. Okay, so let's just do this little jacket. You guys, if you are a Liverpool lover, our Liverpool, uh, they had some shipping issues to say the least, all right? So the, we finally got our huge load uh, that we've been waiting really patiently for, okay? So this is absolutely heaven. If you haven't tried Liverpool, I highly recommend it. It is uh, more of a higher end brand, but it is made to be like totally for a true woman sizing, okay? So it's not contemporary, it's not junior fit, it's not small sizing, okay? It's true woman's fit. And so it, the quality of it is like hands down the best, super, super soft. Uh, you guys, all of you who shop it already know you get what you pay for. End of story, that's just kind of how it is. So the colors in this are kind of, uh, well, there's like a charcoal, there's like a charcoal and then like a little bit of like an ash gray, I wanna say, but I do feel like it could pull blue as well, like a little bit of blue if you wanted it to. Uh, but it's just kind of like a houndstooth looking, kind of got some wooden little buttons here. Uh, I am in the size extra small. So usually on Liverpool jackets, I do do the extra small size, uh, just, just because, I guess. I could probably do the small, it may be a little longer in my arms, which would be fine as well. I kind of go back and forth. I do have kind of long arms, so sometimes I have to um, go up a size because of that. But uh, for the most part, I can do an extra small and this thing is perfect. So this is almost kind of like a shacket, I'm gonna call it, uh, and it's just plain on the backside. So you could totally dress this up if you wanted to jazz this up a little bit more for a holiday event. Uh, this would be adorable for kids' Christmas parties, programs, all those kind of things that are gonna be coming up here. Uh, and wood little buttons here as well. My extra small would button across if I wanted it to. So you could pull a lot of different looks with this. You could pair it back to some black denim. You could put it to a dark, dark gray denim would be really, really, really pretty with it. Uh, and I even think you could put a pop of blue under here to pull out a little bit of this lighter blue. So. It is really, really fun. And again, you guys, super soft. It's not lined. It's gonna be nice and warm. Like I would totally wear this as a jacket as well. Uh, but just know it's not like a super heavy material, like that it's lined with fuzzy or any of that. So it's just a perfect thing to just hang out in all day, especially if you're in the office or something like that. So extra small through extra large in this particular style, okay? All right, TikTok, give us a shout. Let us know where you guys are watching from. If you guys have any questions, let me know, okay? Okay, perfect. All right, you guys. Well, good. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know out there, all right? Okay, so that was that. So then here we go. This is this little tank that I've got on. And this is doggone cute as well. So you guys, these are perfect to layer with. You guys hear me talk about basics all the time. And it is true. You've got to have basics in your closet. And I love this one because it's wider here. So you don't have to worry about a bra. Okay. I like v-neck. That's just kind of my preference. Uh, this is super soft, super stretchy, super comfortable. It's not clingy. It uh, doesn't hook on to all those little rolls we got. Okay. Kind of longer on the backside. And then it does have, I don't know if you guys see it, but there is a kind of a, a little like ribbed down the back. So it's like not just uh, just a basic, it's got a little twist to it. And I like how it's kind of like doubled up up here too and kind of got a little raw edge here. Okay, so it's just kind of fun and different. And then I like how it almost looks, I mean, it almost looks like it's kind of white here, but it's really just kind of more like a bleach, a little bit lighter gray. So I don't know, so it's a basic with a twist. All right, so that's kind of what we like. All right, so I'm in the size small of this particular one and I do have some other colors of this as well that I want to show you. So let me find, well, actually, I'm gonna come back to that. Okay, I'm gonna come back to the other colors because they're under jackets, I'm gonna show you here, okay? All right, so then these are our Brooks denim, all right? If you guys have not shopped Special A denim, uh, oh my gosh, the cutest little vendor gal, I was just on the phone with her, she's so doggone cute. Uh, and anyway, that's why I love this brand, I think, because I love her. But anyway, uh, so they're high-waisted, and uh, got the pockets, of course, and just some nice little distressing. 
Nothing crazy, uh, but still definitely fun and not just plain. All right, nice little medium wash, gonna be perfect for everything you need. Uh, Special A is just a good, affordable brand, fits really well. The booty's kind of uh, faded a little bit. And I have them rolled up at the bottom, uh, and I just thought it was cute with these little booties, okay? So that's kind of how you can style it. These are true to size. They uh, are, they have a good stretch, but not that you want to size down. So I would stay true to your size. I'm in my size one, uh, and they do. They fit really good, and I feel like they retain their shape really well also. So if you guys have questions on that, let me know, okay? Hi, Kim. What's up, girl? How are you? Are you working today? Are you probably on lunch? I bet you're on lunch. Well, good. I know the girls are packing your order from last night, so hopefully you got some good stuff. I didn't even check to see what you bought, but I saw you shopping last night, so I'm sure you did. <laughs> it was all so good last night. Um, okay, so these little booties, you guys, are so doggone fun. You gotta have booties for our fall little lineup. These are a good little, uh, I feel like, good neutral. So I love the dark bottom. I feel like they look rich uh, and just kind of classy with it being a darker brown here. And then this is kind of like a light taupe. All right, and this is nice too for your ankle. Uh, if you're really picky about stuff rubbing against your ankle, that's why people like this little stretch on the side. So these are true to size. They zip up the side. They do have like a white little threading in there too. Uh, and yeah, they're just kind of a nice round toe. They're just super fun. So again, gives you a little height if you're short like myself. I like a little bit of um, height, even if I'm doing uh, leggings sometimes, I'll wear some little cargo boots too because I just need a little bit feel a little bit taller in life, okay? So true to size on those. And again, if you're gonna pick any, these are a good one. They'll go with everything with all your shackets and flannels and all kinds of things. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on because otherwise I'll fall over because I'm not balanced here. Okay, so we are gonna get these pictures. I don't know, I think she was working on those, but okay. Here is, I think, Yes, okay, so this was the, okay, here is another exact same uh, tank that I have on, but just in a different color, okay? So here it is, and I love this color, you guys. I don't know what it is, and I don't know why I'm attracted to it, but I like love it in everything I see. I have to buy it. Uh, it's like a Dijon, this is what they called this one, but it's almost like a greenish yellow, I don't know, it's just great for fall. I feel like it's different. And uh, if you're an autumn, like I guess I'm an autumn in House of Colors. I don't really agree with it, but I guess I am. Uh, anyway, this would be one of my colors. So maybe that's why I like it. But it's just kind of different, again, and it pairs back to a lot of different things that you wouldn't necessarily think. Like it looks good with your browns, black of course, looks super cute with this little checker jacket I'm gonna show you. But uh, as far as the color goes, it's again, same fit as what I have on, small through large, true to size. Okay, so this is the Dijon color right here. All righty, and then we have, uh, I'll show you that pair together here in just a second. Then this one is the Coco right here. So again, same thing that I have on in this tank top, but just a good little basic with a twist. And here it is in this Coco color with the little raw edge detail here. So again, perfect to throw under all these little shackets and flannels and things. So I'll come back to this to show you the matched up pair here in a second. And then the other little color that we've got is cayenne. Hold on. Yes. And this is kind of fun, you guys. It's almost like a paprika kind of color, I would call it too. Like it's kind of a rust, a faded rust. I don't know. How's that for words? I don't know. <laughs> a faded rust kind of color, kind of vintagey looking. So again, perfect little basic for you guys. Pairs back to this just great. Uh, and again, same that I have on, but just in these fun little colors. All right. So remember those as you're shopping these other little looks. So I'm gonna show you, okay, hold on one second. I got everything all mixed up. It's hard when you do this by yourself because it's like you just kind of flail around and anyway, that's all right. We're moving and grooving here. Here we go. Okay, so this is doggone cute together like so. Oops, and I put it backwards. <laughs> Well, you get the idea. Okay, so here we go. So this is a size small of this little jacket, uh, and I'll throw it on for you, but I just love it how she paired it back to that fun little uh, tank underneath. So when you've got these fun little checkers, you guys, checker is huge. I would say it is the biggest trending pattern that there is for fall, uh, because you see it at market everywhere. It was literally on every, 
every store in LA too. Uh, so if you feel like you can't get into it, guess what? It'll be long gone next year. Uh, so you wanna get into it right now because there are so many cute things, okay? So this is a perfect little kind of shacket. This is nice and thin too. So it's kind of, um, God, it's like perfect for a day like today where it's not like, obviously it's not hot, but it's not cold. It's just kind of that perfect little medium. So this would be an excellent one to grab for that. Uh, but again, if you're new to checkered, try it out, grab one piece. I don't feel like this is crazy. I feel like you can totally tone it down with what I've got on here as well. Uh, it's just kind of super fun. If you want to be extra, put that fun little pop of that kind of yellowy color under it, uh, just for a little, little bit of fun and some color. But small through large on this, and I'm going to say it's a nice relaxed fit. So I'm in a size small, and it is a little bit longer on the back side, which is nice, and then it does have buttons if you want to button it. And again, I'm in a size small, all right? So, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Love, love, love it, so cute. All right, perfect. And then, what do we got? Okay, so then we have the dad plaid. Love that name. Miss Mel is such a good little namer. Okay, so this goes together like this. Okay, see how cute that is? I'll throw this on so you can see what it looks like, but I love it paired back to this color was called the cocoa. Okay, little tank top. Again, like what I have on, but in the cocoa color. Love those two together. Okay, so I'll throw this on just so you can see what it looks like. It's just kind of hard to change tops when you're by yourself. So that's why we just kind of are showing you guys a few things. So here we go. But this is called the dad plaid. Uh, and just a fun mix of colors. So it's kind of like, like almost a burgundy rust kind of color in there. And then like a taupey color and black. Uh, this is obviously not a small. I'm assuming this is a large. <laughs> uh, she probably didn't know I was going to put this on. And then has the little black hoodie on the back. Uh, so the sizes left on this. Oh, we just have large left. Okay. So just large left, which is what I have on. So I'm going to say true to size since this is a size large. You guys, it's freezing in here. We're in our warehouse. And uh, yeah, we really haven't turned on much of the heat yet because the weather here is like so up and down. And so it is like freezing in here like freezing, but that's okay. We are gonna power through it and just warm right on up. Okay, so this one is the one that she had paired with the little, this color was, what was it again? Cayenne, I was gonna say paprika, but that wasn't right. Cayenne, and look how pretty that is together. So, so good. Uh, and I think we debuted this little flannel for you guys last night, and it is just a really good neutral. Like it even looks really cute paired back to this dark charcoal tank. Uh, but it has kind of like a fun little, I don't know, it's almost like a, like a pink, like a mauvey pink in there. And then you've got the brown with the taupe. So it is just, it's just really cute. Again, it looks great with this color I've got on under here. You could even grab these little boots if you already nabbed these, but what a cute little outfit to just throw together and you look all put together. All right. So, and this is so soft and just kind of a good little thickness too. So perfect little flannel for your fall wardrobe. Okay, so I think that was all the clothes. So let's, oops, shoot. Okay, this I thought I had up. So I don't know what I had up when I thought I had it up, but here this is. Okay, so this one's up, small through large. I had the size small on. Uh, and yes, this is a great one. If you wanna kinda see, like it's not lined or anything, it's just kind of an easy throw on and go and a good little thick if you're in somewhere that's a little bit warmer than here. Okay, perfect. How's everybody doing out there? Okay, let me know if you guys have any questions. Have you guys started your Christmas shopping? Betty's already done, you lucky duck. Uh, has everybody else, how you all doing out there? Yeah, I don't even have a list, so I'm doing real well. Okay, you guys, so, okay, however, if you want to cross a few off, a few people off your list, and they're hard to buy for, this is a no-brainer, just do it and be done, okay? So this is called One Part. All right, it's kind of a new line and I had to have it. You guys, if you don't know me very well, I love a good cocktail. Don't know what it is about it. It's just like, I don't know, like done at work for the day, have a nice little cocktail at home. Uh, so this is the ultimate. Okay, so this is how this works. So this is a fifth or 500 milliliter infusion kit. Okay, so you're gonna buy this for your special person. And then we have a bunch of little, uh, like little mixes. Okay, so these are cocktails for home. So this is how it works. So like, let's say you're gonna get this one, okay? So this calls for, you're gonna dump this little packet inside this little thing here, okay? So this little infuser guy. 
Okay, so then you're gonna do a half a bottle of tequila, half a bottle, and you dump it into here, okay? So you can add, it gives you the recipe on the back. If you want to add anything else, you can. Otherwise, you can just roll with it as is. But if you wanted to, you could add, it says fresh lime juice, agave syrup, blood orange and sh cinnamon sugar for garnish. So this, it just kind of gives you an idea if you do want to make a killer, killer cocktail. Otherwise, it's going to be delicious if you just infuse it. So again, this is going to go inside this little tube right here. You're going to fill this with the, whatever it says on the back. So this one is tequila. 375 milliliters, half a bottle of tequila. So you just leave this in your refrigerator and it, it's fine. Obviously alcohol doesn't go bad, so you can leave it in there as long as you want to. The longer you leave it, the better it'll be, the more infused it'll be, okay? So, and it's kind of nice, cause then like you can just have a drink at night and then stick it back in your fridge, you're good to go for tomorrow, <laughs> okay? So we got the other thing, what sold me on this, you guys? Uh, so I have been trying to do, well, I totally failed the last couple weeks. Traveling and me just it is impossible to be healthy, okay? Uh, so I, uh, I said I was going to get back this week and do good. I've done okay. But this has zero sugar. Okay, so uh, zero sugar and all natural ingredients in these little packets. So that's what sold me. It's really hard. Anytime you're buying stuff like this, it's so full of sugar and bad junk. Uh, so that's what sold me. The minute he said that, I'm like, yep. I'll take it. So uh, I'm gonna show you now kind of our fun. I just grabbed some of the ones that were kind of Thanksgiving-y that you guys could have. I'm totally gonna bring these to uh, my Thanksgiving that I have to bring some cocktails to. So now if you don't want to buy this little thing, okay, then you can do this at home, all right? You just use a strainer and uh, you can do it that way as well. So you don't necessarily have to buy this little gadget, although this is nice because then it's just ready to go and you can leave it in your fridge and uh, just have it ready whenever you get home, okay? Okay, so let's do, which one's up first here? Oh, they're all up here, okay, perfect. So I have a bunch of different kinds of those. So I just grabbed, again, we just grabbed kind of the ones that were Thanksgiving-y. So uh, you can go through the list, so there's lots of options. And whether you're a gin, um, a tequila, a whiskey, a vodka person, whatever, there's something for you in the different kinds, all right? So this one is a pumpkin pie Manhattan. I think that looks absolutely amazing. And this one calls for rye whiskey. But again, you can substitute it with whatever you want. Like, it don't matter. This is just kind of the suggestion on the back of the, the little container. Firecracker margarita. That sounds absolutely amazing. And so that one's obviously going to be tequila. Okay. This one is fireside fizz, which this one recommends gin, which I love gin. All right, so that looks so good too. Oh my God. And then it says you could add sparkling apple cider. Uh, yes, definitely. Pumpkin spice margarita. Well, that sounds fun too. And so yeah, these are all fantastic for just um, your holiday coming up, your Thanksgiving. So everybody, you can be totally bougie. Show up with your little um, infusion mixer and your bougie little cocktails and you will be the talk of the party, okay? All right, excellent. And then it just makes things easy. We like easy. Okay, so men are hard to buy for, if you guys don't know this, most of you already know this, but I have the perfect things for your guys. All right, so my cousin, which I absolutely love her to pieces, she's coming back from Colorado for our Thanksgiving, and her, um, pretty much husband, loves cigars, and he loves whiskey. So this is like a no-brainer, so check this out. So it is a fun little whiskey glass with a cigar holder on it. Like, can you get any better than that, people? No. So it's called a cigar glass, a smoke of genius, which is pretty darn marketing. I have to say so myself. But this is how it works. So it's just kind of a nice little tempered uh, cup. And this is like high quality too. Like these are legit cups. They're not like thin. All right. And it says, yeah, just has the built-in cigar rest and then double old-fashioned whiskey glass. So could your whiskeys, whatever, whatever there, it don't matter what it is, but they, all that matters is it holds their cigar, right? So fun little man gift for sure. Okay, then next up, we've got the whiskey wedge. Okay, so this is my jam. I am an old fashioned. I love old fashions. Don't know why, my husband makes the best. Uh, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> yeah, so good. So this is to prevent it from being watered down. Okay, because you know how your ice melts and then it's just not quite as good. Uh, so this is how you do this. So this freezes, let me see here. How did I, here we go. Okay, so you stick it in the freezer and then this side will freeze because you're gonna fill this with ice on this one side, 
all right? And it freezes. So it keeps your drink cold without watering it down. So it is like genius. And so any guy in your life who loves a good, like, real drink is going to be ecstatic about this, okay? Because they're not going to have watered down drinks anymore. So as you can see here, you just uh, fill this black part with water. And you're going to stick it in your freezer, all right? And then you take it out, and then you have this fabulous uh, little thing here where you make your little cocktail and it stays cold. So genius, people, genius, all right? They're going to be so impressed. Buy them that, and they're going to be a happy clam. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Next up is for those of you who, uh, now this is like, again, should have one in your car, have one in your bar at home, like all the things. This is a decapitator, which is, um, the coolest bottle opener ever. So it kind of looks like a wine opener. I would say, let's see if I can get it open. I can't get it open. Oh, here it comes. Okay. And, but it is for bottles, okay? So it's just kind of this round little guy like this. Stick it on there and it pops your little bottle top off, okay? So this is from Corksicle and uh, good little brands too. We have some of their um, cups and things. You guys have shopped those before. But again, this is like an easy grab for that person who has everything and you literally don't know what to buy them, okay? You just buy this. So you, it looks like this. You just stick it on there, push it down and it pops the bottle cap right off. Genius, seriously, it's a need, it's a need. All right, what do we have next? If I'm going too fast, you guys holler at me, um, but again, I'm just kind of going through our different gifty things you guys need for your holiday shopping. All right, this is fun. So we got some new candles. And you guys, if you don't know me, if you're new, uh, you people on TikTok, I am a little sassy. I like fun things, I like stuff that's hilarious and just makes you happy and you can laugh at, okay? So we got some new candles that have funny little sayings on them. Um, this one says hot mom. Uh, and then there's a bunch of them. There's festive AF, uh, classy AF, bad B, you're effing awesome, um, plant mom, hot mom, love you B. Um, what else? Okay, I think that's all of them. So they're a great little gift. Again, if you have a girlfriend who's struggling with things, going through a lot of stuff, um, just, want to send a friend a hug, uh, you can send them one of these and they would so appreciate it. Plus, they smell absolutely amazing, like amazing, and they're all kind of natural ingredients. So like this one says cedar leaf, ocean mist, aquatic florals, and amber musk. Uh, it absolutely smells amazing and they're made in the USA, okay? So good little grab, again, easy, easy, easy. I try to make your life easy, all right? Okay, next up. Okay, you guys, I have one of these in my makeup bag. Ready, set, glow. These, again, are the perfect little gift. If you have tweens in the house and need, like, stocking stuffers for them, Betty, stocking stuffer idea, uh, this is just a little mirror, and it is that LED light. So there's just a button. There's three different lights to it, so you can make it kind of bright, and then the last one's really bright. But it is so good. I use this to do my eyebrows the other day, like pluck my eyebrows. Uh, it's nice to check the back of your hair too. Just stick this in your little makeup bag for those kind of things. Or like when we travel so much here and I'm with the girls, like we all kind of fight over our mirrors. So it's just nice to kind of have that so you can even sit in bed and do your makeup that way. Okay? So these are great and just a good little travel size. It's super small. All right. And then, you guys know, this is how much I love my satin pillowcase. I take it traveling with me. Uh, you guys, if you have not slept on a satin pillowcase, you, you're not living, okay? Really, you've got to do it. It's better for your hair. It's better for your face, too. Uh, it's just a little bit softer on it, and it's supposed to help with wrinkles and, like, junk, all your pores, keeping your pores clean. And I definitely notice a difference with my hair. For sure. If I don't have this and I sleep on something else, it is just like a frizzy disaster where this kind of helps to just tame it down and makes it smoother. Okay? So there is, um, I am restocking these. So if you, when you go to this item, Bye Bye Bedhead, uh, there are some other colors. We're really low on all of them though. I restocked them. They actually should be here any day. So just make sure you waitlist them. So it'll say, do you want to be waitlisted? And say yes. Do you want to be pre-authorized? Hit yes. Okay. And then you'll just have to have your card entered. And all you do for that is that means it's not charging you until we, the end inventory is entered on our end and it's ready to be shipped out to you. Uh, but you get first dibs on it and you don't have to wait for an alert saying it's back. So that's all it is, okay? But there's a couple other shades, but I actually like this pink one because I was worried if I got a gray one and I was at a hotel room, 
it wouldn't stand out and I'd forget about it. So that's why I did the pink because I felt like it was brighter and sticks out a little bit more. So tidbit of info there. Diane Kellogg, how are you, lady? Diana, hopefully you're good. You're doing a little Christmas shopping, are ya? Um, get her done, right? Get her done and enjoy the holidays. Okay, mini pack. Okay, so you guys, these are so great. I know, I wish I could just throw it through the phone, the iPad, and show you guys how good these are because you have no idea. Betty, this would be a perfect little stocking stuffer as well. This is Lavender Luxury. And so here this, this is how this works. They're like little candies. They look like tiny little sugar candies. However, they're a soap with lotion. All right, so keep them in your purse. When you're out and about um, doing all your holiday shopping, you wanna make sure you're washing your hands so we don't get all the junk floating around. Uh, but these smell heavenly. I can smell it through the package. And they make your hands as soft as soft can be. Okay, so like a soap and lotion all in one. They're fantastic. There's lots of different sh kinds of those as well. There's a mango, fresh lemongrass. This is lavender, vanilla brown sugar, ocean mist, and sweet sasma. So there is a bunch of different flavors. Uh, they all smell heavenly. You can't go wrong with them. Uh, but they're just a great little gift for sure. So just for $12.99, you get that whole little packet and you can just split them up, maybe with people in your house or even open this up and do your stocking stuffers, okay? All right, those are fun. Okay, then uh, makeup brushes. So if you guys uh, need, I'm gonna do my eye look here in just a minute. But if you guys do not own brushes, I recommend you grab this this set. It kind of has everything you need. I am like super picky when it comes to my makeup brushes. And so this one just has like really good sizes. I have to have certain ones to do my eye stuff with. Uh, and this one has all of my favorite ones. All right, so and I'll kind of explain as I go. Mine are a little bit different because I've used these and I'm weird. Once it kind of loses its shape, I throw them away and get a new pair, a new stack. <laughs> I know I'm terrible because I just feel like once you clean them, it's not the same. So I'm weird like that. But yeah, so here this is. This is a great little price point too for all these little brushes. You've got foundation stuff, blush stuff, a good little blender. Uh, these are great to kind of help with your contouring on the side and those kind of things. So easy little packet too, good little gift idea for sure. All righty. And then next up, uh, I am going to do this little guy for you on my uh, eye tutorial today. So I'll, I'll come back to it. I'm just going to flash it real fast here though. So uh, again, this is fun because you could do it totally a little bit more um, calm down subdued look with these first three shades or you have something super um, to do a really sexy date night look with or I kind of like to do a darker eye with like nude lips. Okay, so just, so this is a great little palette. Again, super great for travel or anything like that when you just want uh, like just everything in some small little container. So it works great. So there is that one and I am gonna do this today. So I thought I had a gray one somewhere, but I don't know what happened to it. Okay, so then, all right, this is another. You guys, by the way, I forgot to mention, Oprah's favorite things, Miss Mel, who's on our team here, she figured out that Oprah, has on her little Oprah show, you know, her favorite things. She has this, which we nailed it. We already had it. And she had lighted hats, which we have. And there's something else. What else did she have? I can't remember. There's something else that we have that she recommended. And I was like, we already have that. We are rock stars. Okay, so this thing is amazing though. If you have little people, or this would fit in adults too. Like this is, this is like not that small, okay? Uh, it says kids, but you guys, honestly, like my head would fit in this. So if you have like a not huge head, I think you could totally do it. But here's how this works. So this is super bright, not to blind you all. There's three different settings on it. And, but this is so great. So I got one of these for my little boy because we make him take the trash out and it's kind of far from our house. So I got him one of these so he can do that with, so see where he's going, uh, but still have his hands. Uh, if you have any hunters in the family, we have a hunting version of this. This one in particular is my favorite. I think it's the cutest darn thing. Again, the checkers. Uh, but if they, if you want to just type in night owl on our app, that'll show you, you can see all the different colors that we have. Uh, but this is so soft, you guys. It's so soft and the fun little pom-pom on the top. So boy or girl, this would work great for. Okay. So perfect little gift. All right. 
perfect. Jeannie, aren't those so good, girlfriend? I know, those little soaps are so good and they're just so fun and different, so that's what I like. It's always fun to get a gift that you haven't um, seen before and something kind of new. Those would be perfect too. I don't know if any of you guys, God, my girlfriends and I used to get together and do like a gift exchange and like, um, you know, you do the numbers and then you fight over, you steal the presents and all kinds of things. Uh, God, I haven't did that in a long time, but that would be the perfect little gift for something like that. So would those drink things, that would be ideal. Okay, so let's talk about being pale. I hate being pale. I am pale. I did not, Sunday we were at ball instead of um, me home tanning. So if you guys feel the same way, I've just got to have a little bit of color. This stuff is the best. Uh, it has a fabulous little bronze to it. Okay, so it's almost like a sun-kissed bronzy look and it's it goes on really good uh you just it's a foam which i prefer if i'm going to do a tanner i want it to be a foam i just think it's easier to apply uh and so i'll show you what the mitt looks like here in just a second but it's honestly you guys if you just try it and you start light you can always add more but if you're kind of worried about it trying for the first time i recommend just kind of going light with it uh avoid like stuff that gets dry so your elbows your knees and your ankles and then come back um, with your little mitt after you've got your long extremities done and then come back in and get those places okay because then it just doesn't soak in as much all right but this is the best tanner the best Okay, so if you need a mitt, this is what it looks like here. And again, you just squirt it on here. It's foam and it works great. It slides on so nice. And again, I'll just do my whole arm here and then come back uh, and then just use what was left on my applicator. And then I'll do my elbow and like my armpits, okay? For example. So I just try to avoid those areas that get really dry and you can kind of cake it there. So I'll come in and do it last. So that works really good, okay? Really, really good. Okay, what else do we got here? Oh, these little loungers. Okay, so these are so fun, you guys. Um, we need to take these out of here because this is like, I didn't think about this. All right, so if you guys um, are somebody who, or know somebody, or you want them for yourself, whatever the case, uh, these are like the perfect little gift. They come in the cutest little bags, all right? They're uber, uber soft. I'm talking like so soft. Let me find this one here, candy cane. Um, we've got a bunch of different uh, kind of colors and styles, but again, this is like the easiest gift to give somebody uh, because they're pretty flexible on sizing and they are the softest. Like literally so soft you're gonna want to live in these. But how cute are these? Just for little uh, hang at home, little jammies, little cozies. Uh, they're elastic. Uh, and they do tie and it is a working drawstring as well. So like this size that I just opened is a medium slash large. The brand on these is Hello Mellow, which a lot of you have probably heard of. Uh, they're a really good, you see them in a lot of places, especially like vacation spots, I feel like, because they're inexpensive and they're just super fun and they are seriously the softest. All right, so this one is the candy cane option and these are a pant and I will go through, I should have pulled all these out, doggone it. Well, shoot, we, you know what? I'll just do these again on Sunday because I'm already, I got to do my face yet. Uh, so Sunday, Saturday. Actually, I'll probably do it Saturday because I'm at ball again all this weekend. But um, I'll do it Saturday and I'll show you what all these look like separately, okay? Because there's a bunch of different ones. Some are shirts and then we have some that are pants. And I think JC's getting photos today, so they'll be up later on the app, okay? They were just new. We just got them tagged. And so I wanted to flash them so you guys know we have them. All right, excellent. Okay, so let's talk about makeup. No, I think we got all our, hold on, we've got all of our little um, warmies. Did she put those in there? Where'd they go? Hold on, guys, hold on, hold on. Well, poop, I think she forgot our warmies. Okay, that's all right. Um, sorry, I'm talking to myself here. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna flash these so you know that we have them as well, but you guys, warmies are the best gift for if you have grandkids to buy for, for yourself. I mean, Lee's grandma's in the nursing home, and I don't know, I think she would even like something like this to just cozy up with. Uh, this one is for your hands, okay? So you can stick your hands in here and just, he's kind of, this is the biggest one that we have. If you guys search warmies on our app or the website, 
Uh, this one's called Super Size Hand Warmy. Uh, but they're inexpensive, you guys, and they're just the cutest little gift. So in particular, this big size, you're gonna take out. So all the warmies are, they have, are lavender infused, okay? So this one comes with this little, this little pouch. So you take this out and stick this in your microwave. Um, and it smells absolutely heavenly. And they just stick them back in and it just makes you feel good, okay? It's like a comfort thing. My kids still have theirs and my kids, well, one just turned 15 today and the other one's 12 and when they don't feel good, I will still go warm up their warmie. They still want it. I'm like, no joke, not lying. Don't tell them I told you that. <laughs> okay, so this is a puppy. Um, we have a sloth. Uh, we don't have very many left with that one. Uh, so you wanna check these out quick because they these fly out. Last, uh, last Christmas time, like I was trying to reorder and they were long gone. So you wanna grab them while we have them. A couple other styles. This one is the Huggy, I think he is. Is he the Huggy? Let's me see. This one's kind of, so if you have like two kids at home and you want to make them share hugs, uh, so this is kind of a two for one. So like they're kind of, they're, they're so cute. And they're, I think kids would like love to just little drag these around. They're so soft and just lovable. They smell amazing. And same thing, these, this whole thing just goes in your little microwave. Okay, and then they smell all lavendery and fabulous. All right, and then the other size we've got is this little one, and he is called the Junior. Okay, so again, if you're kind of new to this, you just want to see what the littles think, uh, this is a perfect little one to start with. Plus, if you have a little person, this is like the perfect little size for them to tote around with them. Okay, so just a little tiny guy. And all different kinds, you guys. We have like, and I picked the cutest ones. There are some stinking cute little characters, okay? So go through the site, just type in warmies, and you can flip through it that way. Okay, then this one is great for if you are uh, somebody with a new baby, this is called my first. So it's meant to be like extra soft, kind of that little kind of ribbed feel that babies love. And we have this one, we have a blue elephant. I'm trying to remember, and there's one other one. But they're just great. They seriously smell so good. Like you just wanna cozy up with them. Uh, and yeah, just, just chillax. So this is a sloth. Is he not cute? Like they're so cute, you just have to have them. And then this is one of my favorite ones. Look at him. Is he just not the cutest thing? This little flamingo uh, makes you wanna go to the beach. Okay, so this is called regular. So this is a regular size. And uh, same thing though, I think if you have a little person and they wanna drag these around, like these are just the perfect little tote along. And again, smells heavenly, smells like the lavender, and you just stick him in the microwave uh, if you really want him to smell good or you want it warm, okay? Because sometimes when their tummies hurt or they don't feel good, like this is the best thing. Uh, just have it nice and warm and cozy up, okay? So, so cute. Okay, how we doing? Anybody got any questions? Okay, so we're on to makeup. All right, here's this deal with makeup. My Cinegens order is in. If you are waiting for foundation, uh, my suggestion, I probably did not order enough, I'm realizing, because I've gotten some more orders after I placed mine. Uh, you guys, I can't keep our foundation in. So if you are, uh, Emily's a good one to attest to this. So she usually used to buy like Walmart makeup, right? And she tried Arsenogen's foundation and loves it and we have been out and she is like devastated. So she's like, you're not putting that in, are you? Like, I have to have that first. So you do. It is like a really, really good foundation. It just makes your skin look so flawless and uh, it goes on really nice. Now, this one is the one that I am using. It's an advanced anti-aging. I don't buy this one anymore, to be honest with you. It just makes me too oily. So I'm getting, when our new order comes, I'm gonna use the original. And that's all that I've been buying for everybody. Uh, since I figured out that little tip. So the original is oil free and that's the only, I'm just not messing with this anymore just because this does make you a little bit shiny. So the other foundation is the absolute best. It really, really is. And our foundation has skincare in it as well. So that's why it's a little bit pricier, uh, but it is really worth every penny and all good ingredients and that kind of thing. So as far as the colors go, the one that you're probably gonna want is dewy. Uh, almost everybody can wear dewy. Uh, and our foundations match three shades up and three shades down. So as long as we're like in the ballpark, it will auto adjust to match your face, okay? Which is so great too. But Dewy is more than likely the one I'm gonna give you because it just looks so good on everybody. It's kind of like the unicorn color. Uh, however, this one that I have on is suede. Uh, and again, if I had my tanner on, it would probably match a little bit better. But suede's a little bit darker. Tan is one step down from suede. 
this is suede again. So if you feel like this is too dark, you could do tan, which is a drop down from this one. And then dewy is a drop down from tan. Okay, if you need help, that's what I'm here for. I love to talk about makeup. So if you need to know what your shade should be, uh, message us and I will help you figure it out. Okay, but uh, this stuff is coming. So if you want to, you can wait list it. Just like I told you earlier, all you do is add it to your cart. It'll save you on be wait listed, hit yes, and then you pre-authorize your color. Okay, so that just means it'll instantly fall into your cart and you don't have to watch for a notification. Okay, all right, perfect. Next up is, this is what I use for my contour. And this is, to be honest with you, a foundation tester, which I really probably shouldn't sell, but I do just because I know it just works really good for us. So I just bring it in right under my cheek here. Okay. And it's perfect for contouring. I come in and I do my nose and it just is easy because it's got this little tip on it, kind of nice and pointed. So you can just like get in under there and just kind of help uh, create that shape to your face. All right. So it's inexpensive. And uh, just kind of, I always use the same color and yeah, it's easy. So grab that if you're a contour girl, it's the easiest thing that I found. Okay, let's jump to, we're gonna do eyeshadows. So you guys know, my regular people, I could like, you've heard this, you could probably talk for me if you wanted to. Candlelight or sandstone pearl is what I use for my primer. So I already did put this on. So I take either one of these colors and so this is why I use them. Their shadows with Cinegens is a cream to powder, all right? So it's just like this. It's got the nice little point on it, but whether you're using a different kind of eyeshadow or you're using one of these powders, uh, this is the perfect base, all right? So it just kind of hides, like as we get older too, our skin gets thinner. You see your veins more, kind of a little bit more red. It just helps even your skin tone out and it will help those powders latch on and stay a lot longer. Okay, so you can do this color is um, candlelight that I have in my hand. I am restocking this as well, so you want to authorize this. Uh, the other option is um, sandstone pearl. Either one of those, I go back and forth. I'll probably do sandstone pearl this next one since I've been using candlelight, but they're honestly about the same. The candlelight it has maybe just a smidge of pink to it, but otherwise they're about the same. So you can't go wrong, pick one, you'll be happy with it, I promise. Uh, but yeah, candlelight just maybe has a touch of pink, a little bit, okay? But yes, I go back and forth. There's not one I like more than the other. Okay, then we'll talk about brows. So I did switch, you guys. This is a little bit darker color. So this is medium brown that I have been using on myself. I was using soft brown, but I kind of have let my roots be a little bit darker with fall. And so uh, I thought I kind of needed darker eyebrows. So I am using the medium brown, which is this color here. And this is the easiest stuff, you guys, seriously. If you're somebody who is scared to do your brows, my one tip, You've got to do your brows. You have to. It just frames your face. It is a world of difference. I look back at pictures of myself, like before I knew to do my brows. It is such a difference. It just like brings your face all together. There's something about it. Uh, it just kind of shows off your features and stuff a lot more too. So all I do is I take this little guy. It's got a little brush on it. And I will just comb them kind of where I want my hairs. All right. And then I just take this. And when you get this, it is so, um, there's so much, this is gonna last you almost forever, okay? I use this every day and this is the first time I've got a second bottle, okay? Like it literally lasts forever. So you're gonna just take a bunch off, you just need a little bit, and you're just gonna come in and kind of shake, shape those eyebrows uh, and then let it dry. And it is on literally all day long, okay? That's why our stuff is so good, it is all day wear. Okay. So again, this is medium brown that I have on. So if you're somebody who does have a little bit of brown in your hair, a little bit darker, or you're going darker for fall, then that would be a good one. Otherwise, soft brown is a great one, um, or the blonde taupe would be a good lighter option if you're a blondie. I was using um, soft brown before um, I went this route. So, okay, but then this has this little end on it too, which is great. So you can kind of come in there and kind of just shape it a little bit too before it dries if you get too much somewhere. It's the easiest brow thing I've ever found, really. Works great. Okay, so then let's, dun, 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 dun. okay, we're gonna go back to the palette. Okay, so here is this little guy. This is what I'm gonna do with my eye look with today. Okay, this is inexpensive. I don't know, how much is this? Inexpensive, uh, and again, you can do, make it a kind of a more neutral look with these first three, or you could do more of a bold eye with the the bottom three. 
So I'm just gonna do kind of the, uh, the first three just because we have photos here in just a little bit and I don't really know what I'm wearing so I don't wanna do like a bold color. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cocoa, okay? And I didn't grab enough, it's all right. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit like so, all right? And then you can kind of just, I'm just gonna kind of bring it all the way across here on my top lid and it's just a really pretty it's kind of got a little bit of a shimmer to it and again you guys this is the stuff i take traveling if i've got like you know if i'm on vacation for a week or so and got lots of different color colors i'm trying to match to because i'm a weirdo and i will totally match my eye palette to my outfit of the day <laughs> okay so i love stuff like this that again it's like you got a bunch of different looks all in one tiny little thing and it doesn't take up a lot of weight because we all have been on that struggle bus where our bags are too heavy, right? Almost happens every time for me. I'm sure you guys are shocked by that. I am sure. Okay, so that was the cocoa color that I used there, all right? So that is so pretty. It's almost like, like a brownish red, kind of. Mm, I don't know. It's really pretty and nothing too crazy. All right, so then I'm going to come back in. You guys okay? Have we got any questions? I'm going to come back in and use this vintage, this one right here next. And I am just going to put that in my crease. Kind of dab it right in there. I should have grabbed another brush, but I don't have one here. So we're going to make this work. You guys, the other day I did makeup for you. I got off of here and I was looking in the mirror and I was like, oh my mercy. Like you can't see what you're doing in this little phone. So just bear with me, okay? You get the idea at least, right? I hope. So I have green eyes and I are hazily green. So, and I feel like any of these reds look so good on us, you guys. I don't know what it is. I feel like it makes them look a little more brown, which I always wanted brown eyes. So I suppose that's probably why I like it. But uh, I don't know. I just think the, the reddish hue does something with the green eyes. I don't know. I think it looks good. So, okay. So there's that. So I just use these two little colors right here. All right. So that is nothing crazy of a look and you wouldn't have to do it as heavy as I did either. You guys know me kind of used to doing my stuff a little bit bolder. So then I'm going to come back in with cashmere, which is this lightest one. And I am going to just kind of put it here in the center, uh, just to kind of brighten my eye up a little bit and hopefully look a little bit more awake. How about that? like so. And so for that, I like a little pointed. So this is my pointed brush that I use to do that. So I can just get in there and um, kind of get right, right on the inside just to kind of brighten things up. Okay. So, and I'm going to take a blender. So this is the one that I put candlelight on. It's just a little bit wider. So again, this was the cashmere. So really pretty little neutral for you with a little bit of shimmer. So I'm just going to kind of then come in and blend everything. Like so. Easy peasy, right? That's all there is to it. Okay? So all this, this little eye look was in this palette. And again, if I wanted to make it bolder and uh, maybe date night, something like that, I would do these bottom ones. That's my favorite go-to is like just a little bit bolder eye and a sexy nude lip. Okay? If you're getting dressed up. But that looks good. Okay, so that was that. All right, you guys. And then let's talk about lips because I always feel naked if I do not have lipstick on. I always tell the girls, I'm like, my brain doesn't work till I put lips on. It's just how it is. Uh, okay, so these are new. And you guys, these, you be ready because these are these fly out and I buy everything I can when, I, when I'm able to, when they have them in stock. And then I sell out and I have to wait for more. So you want to grab these fast. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So we got these new liners. This is cocoa, okay? Uh, and so it's a brown. There's a really pretty boysenberry too that would be gorgeous with this pink as well. There's a couple other flavors actually too that are really pretty. But it's an automatic, which I like that. I don't want to have to worry about where my sharpener is at. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. Uh, and it's just kind of a tiny, and it stays on really well also. And it goes on nice and smooth. I hate, I've had these before, and they're like so rough that you feel like you're going to like slide your lip off because you can't even get it to drag across. So these are nice and smooth, okay? So I'm just going to come in here, and I kind of go just a little outside my lips. Thank goodness, God gave me some good lips. My mama gave me some good lips, so I have a little bit to work with here. Uh, but the top one, I kind of like to crisscross. So I'll like come down. Oops. 
And depending on depending on what I got going on, I'll kind of make it a little bit pointier. But you can't, like when you're doing your lips, don't come out too far because then you look like a clown, right? But you just want to go kind of right below your lip line if you want your lips to look a little bit bigger. So, just like so. Okay, so again, this was cocoa color. We don't have the colors listed in there yet uh, because the girls haven't got the pictures yet, but it will be coming, okay? Uh, so this is cocoa, just know that's cocoa color. All right, then next up, you guys, these grande lips. They are to make your lips plump up and look fuller, okay? Which, who doesn't want that? Absolutely sign me up for that. So we have these in three different colors. There's a beautiful nude one. This one has a pink to it, and then there's a Sedona that has a little bit of a clay color to it. I love them all. I have them all. Actually, I think I have two of each because I loved them so much. I didn't want to run out. Uh, but this is the newest color that we got, and it does have a little bit of a pink to it. Uh, but it looks really pretty with this liner. Okay, and when you get this, you're gonna be confused because you're like, how does it work? So you just push the bottom, okay? And if it's brand new, it's gonna take a minute to kind of fill up this little guy here, just that little thing fills up in the middle. Uh, but once you get it going, then you just have to hit it like once or twice and you got it. So, how beautiful is that, you guys? It's so pretty. Now, it's pretty by itself, but I, you guys know me, I just usually need a little bit more color than just a nude lip. I don't know. I just feel better if I have a little bit more color. So this is the, again, the Spicy Mauve. Did I click on that? Oh, no, I didn't. Whoopsie. So Spicy Mauve Grande Lips, which is a plumper, a lip plumper. Okay, so it makes your lips look bigger. So it does have a little bit of a tingle to it. I wouldn't even call it a tingle. Like it just has that like little menthol kind of like, Zest, I don't know what you really call it, but it feels so good, it tastes good, uh, and yeah, I just feel like my lips always kind of look nice and plumpy when I've got this on. So spicy mauve, and then I mix it with the cocoa liner for this fun little look, okay? Yeah, it's a great one, neutral, it'll go with everything, and uh, just easy to throw on, throw on and go. So that's what we like. Okay, perfect. Uh, I thought I was gonna come back to something, but I don't know what it is. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's everything then for you. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody need a recap? You got questions on any items? Need any more info on face products? Anything at all? Just uh, that Cetogen Sorter should be here at the end of the week, hopefully. So if you guys are waiting on foundations and stuff, uh, message us before you come in. But it should be here, and I hopefully got enough. So I got lots of different foundation colors and um, lots of candlelight and sandstone pearl, all the stuff we use all the time. So, okay, I think that's it then, you guys. All right, so if you loaded your cart up, go ahead and finish that up because it won't be here tomorrow. Uh, and otherwise, it's freezing in here. I'm gonna go have lunch. I hope Jen picked up our soup. That sounds really good on a day like today. So you guys, thanks for hanging out with me on a Tuesday. I'm glad to be back with you guys. We've been, well, I've been traveling so much, so it's nice to be back. Uh, my poor dogs are missing me for sure. <laughs> so it's nice to be back home and be with you guys. So, all right, have a great rest of your day. Uh, we will catch you back. The gems are live tomorrow at noon. Uh, Jen, for sure, at least anyway. And then the rest of the week we have lives at noon as well. So you can catch us back here at that time. And uh, yeah, all right, everybody, have a great rest of your day. Happy Tuesday, and we'll see you next time.